Gordon Klingenschmidt is a Christian fundamentalist, and he wanted to comment on some Democrats wanting to make abortion non-negotiable in the party. Let's watch. Let's take a moment and discern the spirits. Where in this story are the Holy Spirit or the angelic spirits or the demonic spirits? Now we can see the human actors. We see Tom Perez, who's the DNC chair. We see Congressman Durbin from Illinois. We see a former uh, Democrat Congressman, Bart Stupak, and they're all having this internal disagreement. Of course, the Archbishop of New York, Timothy Dolan weighs in. They all have their human opinions. But where, do, where does God's opinion on this? Where is the Spirit of God influencing some of these people to do what is right? Or where is the devil influencing them to do what is wrong? And of course, we believe angels are messengers from God that may whisper in our ear from time to time. The way you can tell where those invisible spirits are is by looking at the human morality of the human actors involved according to the biblical lens of moral ethics, right and wrong. So if the Bible says that something is sin or wrong or says you know life begins at conception or, or life begins in the womb, now, and that's a biblical truth, and it's a sin to commit acts of murder against innocent children, then you can tell who the demonic spirits are, or at least who they're influencing, when you see people like Tom Perez and Dick Durbin saying, not only shall we kill innocent children as a matter of policy, citing Roe versus Wade, not only shall we use American taxpayer dollars to pay for the shedding of innocent blood, but if you're not demonic like we are, you can't be a Democrat like we are. They are now welcoming and, and claiming, I hope this is not true, but they're claiming that every Democrat in America must be demon possessed as they are in order to be faithful to the views of their party. And if you, if you don't serve the devil, you can't be a good Democrat. Is I'm paraphrasing, but that is what they're saying, isn't it? No. So, Democrats are demon possessed for being pro-choice and they worship the devil for being pro-choice. If that's your argument, you have no argument. <laughs> like that's the oldest, uh, you know, fundamentalist religious trick in the world. You're of the devil, you're demon possessed. So it's a way of making a point without making a point. You're not saying anything. You're basically saying, I would like to dismiss my opposition in one broad stroke by saying, you're demon possessed because you disagree with me on something. Well, it must be easy to feel like you win any debate when that's your trick. Whenever, so we could do that too. I think you're demon possessed. Actually, you're going against the Bible because he is. In the Bible, not only is there abortion, they prescribe abortion if your wife cheats on you. You're supposed to give her bitter water and then she's going to miscarry, aka have an abortion if it's the person that she cheated on you with's baby. So you're, you're demon possessed. There, I win. How's that? No, you got to actually argue the thing on the fucking merits. But he can't argue it on the merits because he's a Christian fundamentalist. And by the way, people might argue, say, why are you even covering this guy? He's a nobody. He was an elected representative from Colorado. He got elected. He got elected to the Colorado uh, government, Colorado state government. So this kind of crazy, it's out there, it's real, and sometimes it slips under the radar and it ends up winning a seat. Oh, he thinks Democrats are demon possessed and the devil if you believe in uh, Roe versus Wade. <laughs> and uh, by the way, he also just lied about other things too. The Democrats want tax money for abortion. No, Hyde Amendment, jackass. Look it up. There's no federal tax money that's allowed to go to abortion. It's an amendment that's been added in a trillion bills and that's still law today. So that's not true. They're not having tax money pay for abortion at all. That's another lie. Along with, along with your idea that Democrats are demon-possessed because they uh, disagree with you on something. 